got some light in. Good morning. <laughs> oh, get some more light in there. Oh, fuck. Oh, can't swear on YouTube, can I? Good morning. Actually, this is the second time I wake up. Because let's be honest, like you, when I wake up, I don't want to have a camera shoved in my face because because I just don't want to. I don't look like it and uh, I don't feel like it. So um, I've, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, nowadays when you watch the news or you're on Twitter or on a news site or whatever, it's always, there's always talk about fake news. Everything seems to be fake. Content creators pushing stuff. News outlets pushing their views. I mean, the whole Hollywood thing is about, you know, portraying something that isn't real. And to be quite honest, I've just discovered that I'm really part of this. Like I said, this is not the first time I wake up because I woke up an hour ago and I look like shit. I uh, I don't look like this. I don't dress like this. I wear, where are they? Where are they? Oh, you see. <laughs> I, I wear my pom-poms because, by the way, I'm driving through France now and it is bloody cold. I haven't really reported anything because the only thing I do is basically I drive like for four or five hours, I eat something and then I curl up in the back of my van with the heating on, go to bed and the next day I repeat. There's nothing really really to report because it's been really really rainy, really cold. I'm finding it difficult to heat the van, although I do have a diesel heater. It heats up quite quickly, but then the heat seems to be disappearing quite quickly as well. So. Um, I still need to work on that. But back to the fakeness of it all. Um, so yeah, um, so I'm part of that as well. So this is the second time I wake up and um, so I've put some, some decent clothes on, put splash some water in my face and, and here I am. Now I, I've already had my first coffee as well. Again, at seven o'clock in the morning, barely awake, the last thing I want to do is then set up the camera gear to film myself making a coffee, which I will do in a minute. And then, you know, the camera is set up, there's some light as well. It's <laughs> at now 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so then I'll film it properly. And then that coffee, the second one, and I probably can enjoy that as well. Whereas the first one, I just need to get up and to wake up and to function. And you don't have to be there for that. So there you go. That's the fakery of it all. And I've noticed that while watching and procrastinating in Belgium a couple of months ago, while on YouTube, I kind of saw through all that and I started wit witnessing it and really stumbling across all the clips that I watch. It's like, oh, okay, like, hmm, if I were in that case, would I put a camera on my face or would I just whack out the camera? No, you wouldn't. You first, you live, you live through the experience and then afterwards maybe you think like, oh yeah, maybe I should film that. And then you reenact it. I think that's the way I would do it. So mostly you will not see me do things instantly. You will more see me reenact stuff that happened in my life, if that makes sense. Anyway, like I said, I am traveling and the end destination is Gran Canaria, as I mentioned in uh, one of my previous videos. The first bit is a bit boring because, like I said, it's cold, it's wet, and I just want to get through it so that I can get to Spain quickly. Hmm. I've just been, you know, hiding at the back of um, the van. I've not been going out a lot. I have not really got all the 
the gear. I mean, I did bring some gloves and I have a, a winter coat as well, but um, it's not really pleasant to walk around. So I, I, I'm just thinking here at the moment and I'm thinking, what could I tell you just to keep, you know, the momentum going that I am back on YouTube. So I was thinking about a bout of, let's call it van envy, because sitting at home again watching other channels and seeing their great vans and all that it really made me wonder like oh is it time to trade in or hand over dean and and look for a bigger van and uh, a more comfortable van or a more modern van i don't know anything but the small one that i have I've seen a couple of, uh, you know, YouTubers that after a year on YouTube, they all of a sudden upgrade and buy a new van. And I think like, how good is that channel doing that they already have the money to invest in a new van? So I looked into that and uh, to be quite honest, I'm broke. I just don't have the money to buy a new van. So I am stuck with little old Dean. And and to be quite honest, the more I looked into buying a new van, and, and I, I went to a couple of dealerships and, and looked at, at bigger vans, more expensive vans, of course, I noticed that they weren't for me. They were all like um, cookie cutter versions of the same. And I like individual, because this is me. Dean is me. So I was thinking, what do I need to happen to Dean to make it more enjoyable for me? And there were like, you know, all of a sudden you have to make a list of what the things are that mostly annoy you. Like I mentioned earlier on, it's the insulation. So I really need to look into that. Of course, moving into like warmer temperatures, all of a sudden that question will be, uh, you know, out of the door straight away because once you're warm, you don't care about the insulation anymore. It's just those couple of days driving through cold weather. Um, another thing with me now being on YouTube, I needed a desk and as you can tell, I've only got like five meters, uh, five meters to my disposal or at my disposal. Um, I don't think there's really room to, for a desk. So I found something in a shop um, and I found this here. This is, well, this is going to be my desk to um, edit my videos on. I put it basically on your lap. Um, okay, so the, the camera is not really showing that, but you put it on your lap and then your, your, oh, where is my, where's my laptop? There you go. So put it on the lap, put the laptop on there, and then you have a workspace that you can work on. They claim it's ergonomically built for you. So because it's got these padded cushions. So that was, uh, problem one sold, I would say. I've tried to make a jean a little bit more pretty and I'll, I'll blend that in uh, somewhere. So I bought some lights that I like. I've um, also bought some more artwork for the pop-up roof artwork, I say it. It's woodwork really, but that's nice. So I, I made it a bit more more me even. I added some some designer touches. And then one thing that was on my list as well is that I would like to have more energy, more power. And this is where people at All Powers are helping me out because they have given me a power station. Now I have an EcoFlow power station which worked perfectly fine for two years and, and last year all of a sudden it once it reached the 50% capacity it went from 50 to zero within two minutes. So I only had like half a battery that was fully functional. Since it's only like a 640 it doesn't it can't really use household appliances that take 700 watts or whatever. So I can only charge my mobile with it and my laptop and the occasional lights as you can see behind me but I couldn't really use any electric electrical you know household goods now with the all powers and I'm gonna try and lift it up it's bloody heavy it is boom it is that big and heavy 
but this one this one can deal with household appliances for instance i would love to take my espresso machine with me on travels because coffee is my thing now my espresso machine is really too big the one i have at home so i was hoping to buy one on black friday and i did buy one on black friday it arrived just in time before my travels wanted to try it out well i did try it out and unfortunately it didn't work and i had to send it back and because of the time frame that i had to leave i wanted to leave for my travels i had just had to return it and got a refund so no coffee machine but i i also bought a waffle maker a popcorn maker a rice cooker what else how did i bring a blender so i've got electrical goods now with me in the van so that i can try and lead a healthy lifestyle as well because what i've noticed in my last trip in uh, in scandinavia was that i indulged way too often in all those lovely foods and restaurants and supermarkets and i gained about 10 pounds just uh, doing that oh. so all that traveling and that delicious foreign food has uh has left its effect on me so it's time to watch the calories again and get that uh, little thing i know some of you like it but i don't like it so let that get tighter again so i have now made i'm now on a health mission together with this a little uh, well, I can't call it little really, but it's big. I will do a full review of this machine in a later video once I'm all, all sorted <laughs> and on a beach somewhere, let's be honest. Now, with this also comes a solar panel. Now, I will somewhere here i'll show you the size of the solar panel it's a flexible solar panel it's not that big it's only 100 watts uh, so it might not work with this size but that's the only size that basically i could take in the van or on top of the van so i still need to figure out where and how to install it but i i brought it on my travels and then i should be set up for you know sunny environment good food um, got a desk to work on to do my edits um, I've got a lovely surroundings and the only thing I need is some Sun and some beaches and then I'll think I'll be a happy bunny so that's it that's uh, reporting on the road somewhere in the Pyrenees in France but I thought I'd touch base with you and tell you all about the fakery of it all but this is the reality of it all this is all real what you're seeing is real and what i'm telling you is real as well so there you go um i hope you you just enjoyed my little uh update um like i said it won't be long and i'll be in spain doesn't mean that you know north of spain will be t-shirt and uh, swimwear weather but at least it won't be sweater weather Let's be honest. And I'm still at that stage at the moment. I'm now gonna make myself a coffee. Uh, might film it, I might not. Who knows? Uh, because I need to tidy up the kitchen area before I can do that. Anyway, glad to have a chance to report back to you guys and catch me in the next video where hopefully I will be on the road towards some, well, sunnier prospects let's put it that way take care for now bye oh this is heavy oh. bang